In this video, we will discuss another important concept of digital images, namely color spaces. A color space is a coordinate system that allows us to define and represent colors. And there have been many different color spaces defined. And the reason for this is that they all support different application scenarios. So for example, RGP addresses displays and monitors where we have an additive color model, while CMYK or SMYK is used for printing and YUV or UF is used for image and video encoding and compression. So let's start with RGP. RGP uses an additive color model like also used in display technology. So for example, each pixel is represented by three LEDs that emit light for red, green and blue. And by this combination, we can create all colors. So when we use red and green at the same time with the maximum intensity, this would result in yellow. And if you use red and blue with the same intensity, this would result in magenta. If all three color channels are used with the maximum intensity, this would end up in white. RGB's additive nature is very advantageous for displays, but it presents a challenge for us humans if we want to calibrate color. So for example, if we start with a specific color and we would like to make it a little bit brighter or a little more intense, then this is really hard with RGP because we would need to change the different RGP values, not only one channel. And this is completely different with the HSV color space, which separates hue, saturation and value, facilitating such a color manipulation, where hue represents the actual pure color tone, and saturation refers to intensity and value to brightness. This makes HSV much more intuitive for us humans. Also, HSV allows for nice color effects in images. So for example, if we increase the saturation of each pixel, the entire image would be much more vibrant. And if we fix the hue of each pixel, we can create nice sepia effects. CMY uses a subjective color model, which is tailored for printing. In contrast to RGP, where the base color is black, here our base color would be white on the paper. Each primary color, cyan, magenta, yellow, absorbs specific wavelengths. So combining these colors on white paper produces various hues by subtracting light. So for example, cyan filters red and yellow filters blue. We can compare this in the RGP color space where these colors are exactly at the opposite position in our cube. Cyan and yellow filters red and blue, and hence this results in green. Finally, there are also perception-based color spaces like YUV and YCBCR, which separate luminance from chrominance, so brightness from color, and this aligns very well with human visual sensitivity to brightness. So UV has been used a lot for analog television where with grayscale device devices only the white channel was used and with color TVs the additional chrominance channels were added. But more importantly nowadays UF is still used a lot for image and video compression because it allows us to easily discard the chrominance or chromatic information to which the eye is much less sensitive than to the luminance. As you can see from the conversion formula, the Y channel includes information from all three RGB channels, with green having the most impact and blue the least. And it's also worth noting that this conversion has not been standardized, so many different versions of it actually exist. With digital images, and in particular with JPEG compression, a new version of UF has been created, which is known as YCBCR. And it uses a similar but slightly different conversion formula, as you can see here. On the next slide, we can see an example of the information included in the different YCBCR channels in comparison to RGP. One aspect here is very important, namely the fact that the chrominance channels contain way less difference in small regions, so neighboring pixels often have the same value in this channel. And this is heavily utilized by JPEG and MPEG compression, as we will see later under the topic of chroma subsampling. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching.